Good afternoon, IT Technical Support. My name is Lauren. How can I assist you today? Yes, good afternoon. That is the correct extension. I'd be happy to get you situated. Uh, so you need help with logging in? Your new employee. Excellent. Okay, I can absolutely help you with that today. Welcome to the company. I'm very happy to have you with us. Uh, now, before we begin, can I please get your full name? And what is a good phone number in case we get disconnected that I can call you back on? Excellent, okay. So I'm gonna go through a series of questions just to make sure you are appropriately in our system. Uh, it shouldn't take too long and then we'll be able to get you all connected in with all the programs that you are needing. Now first, are you working uh, on campus or are you working remotely at this time? You are remote. Okay, so am I. That is not a problem. We can get you all set up. Do you have a company computer or are you using a personal computer at this time? Company computer. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Right. Yes, I'm just going to enter a couple of notes in here and then we're going to go ahead and get you all set up. Mm -hmm. I know it is very different working from home now. Yes. Putting down on the commute time was very nice. <laughs> I agree. Okay, uh, do you have an employee ID? Mm -hmm. Very good, and the computer found you, which is excellent. Sometimes that's one of our biggest hurdles and obstacles that we have. Mm -hmm. Love technology, absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna set up uh, your initial login, and it is gonna be your first initial and your last name. And it's going to auto-generate a password, and I'm going to go ahead and email that to you. Do you have your email set up already? Okay, they got it set up before you started. Perfect. So, here's your automatic password. And what is your email that we are using right now? Perfect. Now just copy and paste that on in. I'm going to include in the email the instructions for you. You're just going to use the temporary password it generated, and you're just going to go ahead and log into the system here, and then it will prompt you to create your own new password. Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm going to include all of that in this initial email for you. Okay, it just sent. Uh, so I do ask that you pull that up and the link provided, you're just going to open that up, input the password, that's again, um, the one that's right there in that email along with the ID. That is your first initial and last name. And let me know when you've gone through the process of uh, creating your new password and see if you can log in. Yes, just let me know when that's completed. You're creating your new password now, and the parameters of the password, it should be at least eight characters, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and at least another 
a symbol or phone number or number, sorry. <laughs> All set. Perfect. Are you able to log in now to the site? Excellent. Okay. Okay, so now you are all set up with your general desktop login, and you're all set up with getting into our computer system. Is that correct? Okay, perfect. So now you're just going to need all the different applications set up. Uh, so please tell me first, what is your role? Okay. Just writing down these notes. And are you full-time? FTU Bill Polito. Okay, perfect. And you're going to continue working from home for the foreseeable future, correct? Perfect. Okay. All right, so I'm going to input all of your credentials into our system to find out exactly which programs you're going to need access to. And I'll get the icons all set up on your desktop. So they are all set up there. And then you're going to actually go on in and be able to set up your logins. Typically, it's going to be the exact same. Uh, login ID, and then the password is usually translated across as well, so we want you to uh, go ahead and test that out. Now first, since you are already on your computer, you have your login, and now you have your login into our system. What I'm going to have you do is go into My Computer. It should be typically on the top left of your screen. You have it perfect. And if you click on that or just hover over it, it should tell you the ID of the computer that you are using. All right, can you tell me that ID? Perfect, so now I have that. And before I go ahead and initiate this interaction, I want to ask for your permission to remote into your computer so I can get all these icons set up for you. All right, wonderful. I just sent a request to remote in. It should be appearing on your screen here momentarily. Please hit accept when you see it. Right, and we're in. So this is me now taking over your screen. Okay. Yes, you don't have to do anything right now. What you see, well, I'm just putting in the notes for uh, your current role and FTE level, and then that's actually going to auto populate and generate all of the different programs that you need to have appropriate access to. So Internal transferring, or are you brand new to our company? Brand new. Oh, you just just moved to the area for the position as well. Cross country road trip. Wow, that must have been interesting. Yes, did you were you able to make some stops and enjoy yourself? You were able to see some of the national parks. Oh, that's really nice. Very exciting. Well, welcome to our area. We're very happy to have you. So I'm just going to make a couple of more notes now, and then it should be able to run through the system and doing all the population for me of all the programs that you are required to have access to. Primary campus. Are you you're going to be overseeing two? Okay. And yeah, here. Okay, perfect. 
and gives us these particular codes right here. Okay. I'm just going to input those codes so that you have, again, the appropriate location access. your email set up with our system as well. Uh, so in just a moment, it should actually be sending you uh, an email that's going to auto-populate right there. And I want you to go ahead in the email and click accept on all the different icons that it's stating that you are needing access to. Yes, correct. Did you receive the email yet? Okay, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes. Let me know when you receive it, please. Receive the email. Excellent. Uh, so it should have a list of all the different programs that you will need access to. And when you click accept mm -hmm, on all of those and then submit that email back, it will allow me to again go in and download all of those applications to your personal desktop. And then we can go ahead and make sure all those icons are appropriately uh, situated on your desktop. And then I'm going to have you click on each of those to ensure that we do have the uh, appropriate login access. Great, just let me know when you click submit. Okay, great. Uh, now I am going to have to request access back since you did take control back over of your computer, which you were supposed to do. Uh, so I am just going to go ahead and your computer ID again is yes. Thank you for resharing that. Perfect. So I'm going to just go ahead and send you another request. And when you see that on your screen, please accept. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so you accepted these five different programs that we're going to need you to have immediate access to. So I'm going to go into each of these programs one at a time and just input some of your uh, basic information as well, okay? All right, wonderful. Yes, for each of the programs, it's going to need to have your name, uh, your campus locations, which I have here now as well. Uh, it's going to need to have your title as well as your phone number that you're going to be uh, utilizing while you're at work. Okay, is that the same as the callback number you provided to me before? It's a different one? Okay, let me make a note of that, please. Okay, wonderful, thank you. 
So I'm just going to be putting the same information in for all five of these programs. Okay, just bear with me just a few minutes here. program. I'm just working on the last program now. So it'll take probably just a minute or two. I did input all of that information for all five of those programs. So it just has to be set up into um, 
our little internet space here. Everything needs to be processed and approved, and then it should circulate right back and populate into your computer. Uh, I still do have remote access to your computer at this time, so when I get the approval that uh, comes through for all five, I will be accepting all five, in which case they will then all download and be uh, right there on your desktop, actually. Uh, so once they are all downloaded on the desktop, you will just be able to open them up and create icons, and then we'll double check that you're able to log in, and you should be all set. All right, perfect. It should just be another couple of minutes here. So you did a whole cross-country trip. How long did that take you? About two weeks. Wow. That's a pretty nice trip. Saw parts of the country you never got to see before? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's excellent. I would love to do something like that. Did you travel with any pets? You the dog? <laughs> How did your dog do on the road trip? <laughs> It's quite an experience, absolutely. So what brought you to our company? Oh really? Okay. Mm -hmm. It is a wonderful company to work for. Incredible benefits, yes. A lot of room for growth, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, well congratulations again on your um, opportunity here. We're very excited to have you. And just got the. Okay, do you see that on your screen as well? Mm -hmm. Looks like they all went through successfully. So I'm just going to go ahead. Yes, it's very quick. Our technology here is very fast and efficient, especially when we're working on uh, getting our employees all set up. So they are all downloading and the icons are now uh, going to be loaded right there on your desktop in just a couple of seconds. Now that we have the full access for you. And got four in there. Last two. Is that home stretch that takes a couple of extra seconds? And there it goes. Okay, perfect. Do you see them all on your desktop? Excellent. So now you have uh, all the programs and everything uh, should have been entered so that you're able to now access with your current credentials. So I want you to go ahead and take control back of your computer. And you're going to put in that same login information that you have from before to get into the overall program. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's going to be your first initial and last name for your uh, for your login ID. Mm -hmm. And then the password should be the same as the one that you generated. Now I want to make sure that this goes without a hitch. So please go ahead and try to log into all five of those with those credentials. Yes. Okay, perfect. You had success there. We'll try the next one. Success. Very good. Excellent. So far, so good. That one accepted your password that said you don't have the authorization. Okay. Make a note of that really quickly. That should be something we can resolve really quick. So I'm going to have you go ahead and try the fourth and the fifth programs. And I'm just going to work on sending in. Yes, you can do that on your end because I'm going to actually be just on my main screen here. I don't need access to your screen right now. 
and I am going to be sending in a request to uh, make sure that your credentialing is all in there so that you can have the authorization access. <laughs> Fourth one back. Excellent, thank you. I'm just putting in this override request so that you can have the authorization in the one. Yep, you can go ahead and try for the fifth program there. Always one at least, right? Yeah. <laughs> into the fifth one. Excellent. Okay, right, so four out of five isn't bad. I'm working on the override ticket now for the one that you didn't have the authorization for. going to give this a moment here and hopefully in just a minute when we try again you will have your access everything else you have full authorization access to perfect wonderful and that should get you well set up uh, but of course if you have any questions or concerns uh, or any issues moving forward with the programs you can always call me back uh, however now that you are into those systems I'm going to give you I'm actually going to send you a quick email while we wait on the response um, it's going to give you the contact information for those who are then going to go ahead and set up an educational time so that you can properly use all those programs, okay? Okay, so email. Let's see. 